can we decide which one is better between iPhone and Samsung phone? When it comes to comparing iPhones and Samsung phones, most people already have their favorite set in stone. On the one hand, you have your iPhone fans who have been loyal Apple users for years. Instead, both alternatives must be compared directly in order to be able to make an informed decision. In this video, we will comparing this tow brand of price and value for money, cameras, operating system, and battery quality. Price and value for money. Perhaps the simplest difference between iPhones and Samsung's flagships is the price. While Apple fans might disagree, at first glance you might think iPhones are overpriced, especially if you're new to the Apple ecosystem. Samsung flagships, while still far from cheap, tend to offer you better value for money. And since Samsung has such a wide range of smartphone ranges, you can expect to find a good deal whatever your budget. Unlike, most of what makes iPhones worthwhile is their seamless iOS software experience and tight integration with other Apple products like AirPods or Apple Watch. Once you've bought an iPhone, there's a good chance you'll want to buy other Apple products to get the most out of your device. Cameras iPhones have generally received more praise than their Samsung counterparts in terms of photo quality, image consistency, and video quality. But with its S22 series, more specifically the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Samsung has upped its game significantly. Overall, the camera experience on Samsung smartphones feels much more refined, fun and versatile. For people who like to tinker with their camera and experiment with new camera features, the Samsung phones are the right choice. But if you prefer a more neutral image and video profile and don't want aggressive image processing algorithms to automatically handle them, iPhones do the job pretty well. This makes them ideal for professionals editing their own photos and videos, and prioritize natural colors and a more reliable camera experience. In other words, the camera differences between the iPhone and Samsung phones have more to do with personal preference than with objective picture quality characteristics. Operating system. It used to be pretty easy to compare iOS and Android, with the cliche that iOS was simpler and Android was more customizable. But as is the nature of competition, both operating systems have evolved over the years. Although the old claims are quite prominent to this day, on the end user experience, enabling better RAM management, software fluidity, user security, and reliability. Given the smaller number of iOS devices, developers of apps like Instagram or Pub often optimize their apps better according to the iOS experience. Another major advantage that iPhones have over Samsung phones is the longevity of the devices. Although Samsung has now been offering four years of major Android updates to its flagship and mid-range phones, iPhones can easily last five to six years. There is, however, an important caveat to this. Smartphone batteries are made of lithium ion, which means they are bound auto degrade over time. Battery quality. Apple has rarely entered the smartphone battle with big claims about its battery. In comparison, Samsung appears to be quite aggressive in its ads touting its massive battery life and impressive fast charging speed. Although the iPhone doesn't have a large battery, its proprietary iOS software is efficient enough to ensure minimal battery drain, resulting in incredible battery life, especially on the iPhone 13 series. When it comes to charging speed, the iPhones still there have a long way to go. Apple's MagSafe charger can take almost three hours to fully charge the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, if you use an unofficial 30W charger, you can charge it in around 90 minutes. In contrast, you can charge the Galaxy S22 Ultra in almost an hour with the Samsung 45W adapter, making it more suitable for power users or gamers. Unfortunately, both companies have stopped providing chargers for their flagship products in the box. Nine times out of 10, making a purchasing decision between two great smartphone alternatives comes down to one thing, personal preference. And that's the case here. Most people who buy iPhones do so because of Apple's well-integrated ecosystem and seamless user experience. iPhones handle basic functions like calls, video recording, system navigation, and web browsing more reliably. On the other hand, if you're a little more adventurous and want a template to further customize your device, Samsung phones are the way to go. Arguably a better design, a funnier camera experience, 
more features, and the One UI skin, Samsung's flagships impressed.